The financial burden facing the past sector value chain had its roots in the legacies of NEPA and PHCN, and three years since privatization, the sector faces other challenges of inadequate gas supplies, inability to increase tariffs, foreign exchange volatility, and weak additional banking sector support. One of the solutions recently being put forward by the federal government was the flotation of nearly 310 billion naira bond bailout. The debt package aimed at boosting the sector liquidity and preventing steady collapse of electricity has, however, been rejected by the Senate. But despite the opposition to the newly proposed power sector bond, the president of the Africa Development Bank, Dr. Kimumi Adishino, says it was a great idea that his financial institution was ready to invest in. What has happened with the power sector here, it's a liquidity problem, right? You have the generation uh, companies, you also have the disappearing companies, but you have a liquidity problem in the power sector. And the government is doing the right thing in terms of wanting to post power bonds to be able to do that. And our bank will invest uh, in those power bonds. As the executive and legislative branch of government bicker over liquidity challenges facing the power sector, the opposition to plans at raising tariffs and the move by Senate to investigate the 2013 privatization, the Union of Electricity Distributors says there would be serious consequences.